Hello to all. I am Dr. Vishnu. So in this video, I am going to brief some simple tips as in how you can perform in your pharmacology exam or how you can learn pharmacology in a smarter way. Because you know very well that uh, in my Instagram channel and also in my YouTube, if you look at my playlist, then you will find that there is a category known as smart learning because I always, you know, propagate the idea of learning smart because all of us are working hard regardless of whichever medical professional you belong to. All of us are working hard. We are cracking our exams. We are cracking entrance exam. Everything is going well. But when it comes to retaining the things that we have learned, we always face challenges. And this is not a single person's issue. This is actually a multidimensional issue because many of you will agree to what I am saying right now. And also I get a lot of messages from people on Instagram and since I have shared my number as well, I get WhatsApp messages like many people are preparing for competitive exams. I think some are in this, in this month itself, some are having maybe abroad exams, they want to attempt that. And many people ask me this question that, you know, everything else is going for them well. But when it comes to pharmacology, you know, they are struggling. So, you know, maybe you are reading one chapter, maybe one page you read. When you go to the next page and you try to revise what you had learned before, you forget everything. So this is something, uh, you know, this is a problem that needs to be addressed. And that is why I am in front of you to be of service. And uh, I will share my simple tips, uh, what I do on a daily basis. Okay. So please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also follow my Instagram page because on a daily basis, I share reels with subtitles, you know, with some examples of smart learning and it will definitely catch your interest. So coming to pharmacology, first, if you look at a, another video that I have shared, maybe one week back or something in that I talked about which are the best references for pharmacology preparation. I mean, if you want to study pharmacology easily, which are the books that I personally, you know, suggest to you. So here I'm not going to talk about that. You can see that uh, you can see the details of what I said about books in that video itself. So basically, see, the biggest challenge that we face in pharmacology is we study the mechanism of action. But when it comes to studying mechanism of side effect or adverse effect, we just study the word as it is like for example we study that you know metformin metformin is a medication that is used in diabetes so we study that metformin's side effect is weight loss now why does it cause weight loss there is a reason behind it there are so many other medications also that causes weight loss even there is a anti-epileptic known as topiramate it also causes weight loss there is a medicine known as fentermin that also causes weight loss. There are so many other medications that cause weight gain or weight loss. But what is the reason behind it? That is important. So metformin, what it does is it actually improves glucose utilization. So when glucose from the blood is entering into the cell, the cell becomes happy because the cell is getting the food. So when the cell is getting the food, the mitochondria becomes happy and the mitochondria generates energy. And when you are energetic, definitely you will not feel hungry because when you are tired, tiredness means what your body either wants to sleep or your body wants to eat something so that it gets back the energy. These are the two major reasons of tiredness. So that means glucose is not entering into the cell. So what metformin does is it improves the utilization of glucose. So naturally it will not make you feel hungry so that's why it causes anorexia and that leads to weight loss now if you sim simply study that it causes weight loss you will definitely you know confuse with lot of other medications as well so always try to understand the reason behind why things occur please believe the please understand the fact that we are scientific students and science means there is a reason behind everything so Whenever you study an adverse effect or a side effect, try to understand the reason behind it. 
and once you understand the reason behind it then studying adverse effects or side effects is going to be easy for you another thing that i can suggest you especially if you are studying for competitive exams is don't overburden yourself on a single chapter you know some people what they do is they make very sophisticated schedules and then they open one particular chapter and then they start making detailed notes of it and you know what happens is by that time the chapter is over half of the time required for the exam is over and remaining full syllabus is remaining and they become panicked so what i will suggest you is try to get those kind of pharmacology books which are in review matter in review form so we have lot of indian authors also and i think there is another author i forgot her name uh, that pdf is available for uh, available i guess it is known as brs pharmacology brs pharmacology that is actually an international book and definitely you have lipincott's pharmacology reviews that is why the name of the book itself is lipincott's pharmacology reviews and that is why i will always suggest you that even if you are preparing for competitive exams also that is one book that you should target because it is a review it is a review of different drugs acting on different organ systems and what are the important things that you actually need to know so try to collect those kind of books and keep a time schedule and start reading obviously when i for example i am sitting alone and i am reading like this what happens after some time you know i will get bored so if you can get a person who with whom you can do a combined study kind of thing that will be better so it is like a symbiotic relationship in which both people are exchanging information and are learning in the process and please uh, believe me that combined study literally literally works a lot especially if you are preparing for competitive exams always have the habit of making your own notes even if you are reading a book which is literally very easy to understand try to make small catch points or something like that in the form of your own notes even if you don't make a descriptive one but at least make some catch points so that even if you are standing at the door of the examination hall also when you read that catch points you can still recollect things so for exam perspective this is something that i will definitely like to say there are lot of coaching institutions online coaching and all you know you yourself know very well there are lot of people who you know uh, you know prepare your uh, prepare you for different different exams in the form of crash course or whatever it is you can subscribe to that obviously they charge money so you can subscribe to that and you can attend their you know lectures also and you can get their study materials which is also good for you know examination purpose but at the end of the day i will always like to tell you one thing make your own notes because that is one thing that is going to help you not just for your exams but also for long term because see you will crack exams you will crack everything you will be you know everything will go good my best wishes to you but it's not just about exams all the subscribers that have got on my youtube channel or so many you know almost like 1 lakh 15000 instagram followers that i got within 80 odd days are not because of the fact that i am helping you with your exams it is because of the fact that i am promoting or advocating the idea of smart learning and smart learning means it is not just restricted to exams it is something that you can remember forever because we are medical professionals whether you are from pharmacy background whether you are from medical background whether you are from dental background physiotherapy ayurveda whoever it is at the end of the day pharmacology is very 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 important so please do this things that i have mentioned so point number 1 please try to get those kind of books which are in the form of reviews so when you start reading reviews you can understand better lipincott's pharmacology reviews is definitely a very good book that i will suggest you and obviously there are other authors also it is based on your personal experience you can just try it out we have dr gobindrai gurg's review of pharmacology we have dr ranjan kumar patel's you know pharmacology reviews and we have brs pharmacology which is the international edition it's amazing you can just try it out 
try to make your own notes no regardless of whatever the chapter is and however time you have remaining try to make your own notes make a habit of discussing with someone maybe a will wisher you can just do some kind of combined study or something that is definitely going to help you and whenever you finish a particular chapter or maybe you finish a page on a particular day don't progress to the next chapter on the next day unless you have revised what you have learned you know what happens with most of us is that we study lot of years but we always tend to forget the road that we traveled it's a saying also that we should never forget the road that we traveled and that is exactly unfortunately that we do when it comes to studying in our respective professional careers so whenever you are studying for your exams if you have studied one chapter only progress to the next one and uh, after you have revised the previous chapter so what happens if you are remembering even 50% of it you can feel happy remaining 50% again you will revise so again your brain is getting engaged and this is how you can go little by little into being really really good at smart learning as far as pharmacology is concerned okay so these are some of the tips that i would like to advise you and definitely i have started with introduction to pharmacology and i am planning future classes as well many of you have asked me lot of questions many of you want me to make videos on you know lots of lots of topics and i literally appreciate that because when you are asking me to make videos on something it means that you have seen my videos on something else and you are impressed by it and that is why you are asking me to make on something else so i respect it i do have some time constraints because i have to go for my you know hospital job as well and uh, whatever time i am getting i make my own notes then i convert them into powerpoints sometimes i make reels and sometimes i just talk to you like this so i will definitely try my level best to satisfy all of you so but at the same time you should be able to work on yourself as well so these are the things that i wish to share with you and uh, this is for those people who are preparing for competitive exams and definitely for smart learning even if it is for long term also whatever points that i have told you right now will definitely help you in long 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 time to come okay so i won't i will never say that don't be tensed i will not tell you don't worry everything is going to be fine because these are all you know very easy to say even if i am preparing for some exam i know very well how much i will be tensed but i can definitely tell you that be strong be prepared and be strong do your best and let destiny deal with whatever you have done in the form of karma okay so i wish you all the best and uh, do well be in touch if anything is there that i can be of uh, i can be help of i'll definitely try my best to help you out so see you in the next video thanks for listening to me all this time until then it's bye